Okay, folks, what I want to talk about today is what it takes to replace an indoor coil and why we have to replace it after sometimes four or five years, six years. We replace them all the time. And the reason for that, I want you to look at this particular coil here. You've got three dissimilar metals to start with. You've got copper, you've got aluminum, you've got tin. The same thing here. In this particular case, you got the same copper, tin, and metal. This one even set in the water. See, it's actually just set in the water in itself and it's called excess corrosion. What causes this is what we call formicaric acid. Acid, that takes a chemical reaction of uh, oxygen and water and these dissimilar metals. It just corrodes and breaks things down. So the guy says, well, what does it take to replace it? I said, it's about three to four hours labor. Okay, he says, I, why? I said, well, first of all, here's the reason. Here's your typical air handler. I've got to halfway pull that start. We've got to disconnect what we call the SS2 switches here. Okay, we've got to either pump the unit down or we have to recover the refrigerant. That's very important, okay? Then you've got to come in here, you've got to physically pull the coil out, take it out. You're gonna get your new coil Say this is a new coil, this is demonstration. Take this new coil, slide it back in. You've got to solder it all in. These copper fittings, they all have to be soldered with the torch. Torch. Okay, once you get all this completed, then you're going to add a filter dryer outside. Anytime you open up your system, you expose it to contaminants, you have to always put a new filter dryer in. If your technician or your AC contractor does not put this device in, he's, he's taking shortcut on you, so please don't allow that. Then you're gonna do a nitrogen test. You wanna put the nitrogen test up to working pressure of the system, okay? Which is, I tell my guys around 400 PSI. Leave it on for 15, 20 minutes. All right, no leaks. Then you want to pull a vacuum. You wanna pull the vacuum down to about four to 500 microns, okay? That may take 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. It just depends on the length of line set. All right, now, once you do all that, you have to Go out there, you have to fill it back up with Freon. The 410A is what it usually is most time these days. And it has to be subcooled correctly. And this thing has to run, really, because the 410A, it has the molecules, they just expand so quickly. So you can't just quickly charge that like sometimes we did in the old days with 22, okay? So that's why it takes long. It takes pumping the unit down, pulling out the coil, putting in the filter dryer, Disconnecting all the SS2 switches, reconnecting all the SS2 switches, putting in a nitrogen test, doing a vacuum, subcool. That's what it takes, homeowners. It is a lot of work. It's like having a major component replaced in your car. Uh, more like a, a head gasket or all that stuff where they have to pull all the valve covers off. It's a full day's job sometimes, depending on where the location is. If you have any questions, just go to jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Thank you.